Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to be up against TN and the map Cross Lake. Now again, if you happen to be new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to be notified of upcoming content. Now this will be an epic naval warfare, kind of a back and forth, but yeah, let's go jump straight into it. Okay, now I actually spawned at the upper left hand corner and obviously TN will be at the bottom right hand corner. Now I started my build here, as majority of the uh, map is an ocean, I started my build with a construction boost and then a supply center and a power plant and then of course it speeds up the construction of all buildings within the deployment time as well as the upgrades um, it reduces. Now I actually uh, switched to naval uh, or infantry scout boost as, as soon as my uh, first infantry uh, came out. All right, so that they'll of course obviously move faster, and then that HQ will finish, and then of course I can just go uh, shipyard right there, two shipyards dropping them off like that. Naval platform since those deltas can you know literally overpower you, so to avoid that from happening. Naval platform around there, and then obviously a gun tower right here preventing any Delta whatever shenanigans rush. And then of course, you'll have to produce that Kaiman while getting the containers on land. As you guys can see, I actually obtained a lot of containers on land, and I'll also obtain containers on the ocean. So fast forward a bit here. Okay, got like a, a three containers here, but I got more containers on the land than that of the ocean yes that's actually correct since there's more container on the ocean or no on the land surface of this area than that of the land or than that of the ocean now i actually spammed a lot of uh caimans around in here and this is to destroy those deltas and as you all know a, a caiman can actually outrange a delta so you just need to control them properly and micro those uh, caimans that are low on health, keeping them alive, and then you can destroy those measly deltas that are trying to obtain this super container. Okay, so now unfortunately for me there is a viking so he immediately upgraded to a viking. Now if you may have noticed I already have like HQ level 3 and 2 more supply centers and this will actually be to my advantage as I'll gain more containers a little bit more than his because he only has like 5 supply centers at this point. Alright so just yeah I mean just gonna do so try and do some damage here as you guys can see I'm using a naval scouting boost just to see further and then attack him attack him make those vikings go back to his base instead of going to my base as to buy time okay buying some time there obviously i can no longer buy some time i would rather use those caimans along with my uh alligators since uh, you know the, the machine guns are not much of a damage but together with the alligator they can actually produce more better result so that's actually making the best out of my uh, investment for them. Now he's not really onto those Delta spamming no more. Now <clears throat> I will go ahead and scout him again and saw that there's like a uh, level 2x facility as there was already a level 2 vehicle factory earlier but he needs to add like those supply centers preventing him from producing a lot more Vikings and delaying that Seraphine production. And that's exactly what he is doing. Now on my end, of course, I got like four alligators, I got like two naval platforms around here, and he's like moving those vikings around. Yep. And since he's gonna go over this place, I presume that he's using a naval scout boost to see further and saw my uh, naval platform around there. I immediately built a naval platform around here, and then of course minefields around here to of course slow down his advance. This will buy me time. Yes, it does cost resources, but again, better than losing everything. Okay, and so there was also those deltas going on in there. 
and then used an emergency or construction boost to speed up the construction of that platform as well as two more alligators around here and I'll position my alligators to defend um, beside or behind that is the platform and just like that some of them did step on those minefields or did go over those minefields effectively destroying them to weaken them as well now obviously that seraphim will not really do much here as of course I have like the caimans that can fire at it the anti-air that can fire at it and so on keep in mind that he has more vikings than my alligator just that I was actually prepared for this attack better than he he is yep and so at this point I immediately had all of a sudden I got like more alligators than his vikings due to the fact that I got a better engagement some of his vikings were firing at my um, naval platform which is not really a good thing also I got like this here for a base uh, anti-air I'm expecting that seraphim to go over my base however he did not actually do that so well better that's good for me and just now that uh seraphim will go and attack my base however that seraphim has been bruised up by my alligators enable platforms which has an anti-air so yeah i'm gonna just gonna have to chase it away and so on okay so moving forward here splashing down that research or prototype facility and of course scouting on his base still has HQ level 3 and now I can just like you know add up a third shipyard here after I already have a Leviathan okay and so there was this this epic thing going on in here whereas I try to collect that super container however with that seraphim in the way I could not really do anything to destroy it because it's outside the range of my alligators anti-air regardless if I have like a uh, you know an air raid boost wasp has been produced around here and then obviously more alligators in good formation okay let's fast forward a bit and he's now trying to obtain it the vikings are just beside it and the reaction time of that seraphim um, avoiding the acid burst of my uh, wasp is actually phenomenal all right and so I'm gonna have to try and uh, again try to be annoying and then it stepped out of range for a moment there and then all of a sudden this is looking very bad for me yep and again it <sighs> oh my goodness that is so annoying dude okay and so again I used a naval scouting boost here to get into better formation faster as my units will move faster and gain view of course there you go I've actually switched here for a moment here okay added naval platforms here to avoid being flanked yeah already expecting that okay positioning some of my alligators to intercept obviously and uh, his uh, Vikings are here I actually have a better concave here at this point whereas five of my alligators are firing at one Viking and then I'll have some of the rest uh, retreat and then one alligator for two Vikings is actually a good trade okay he's actually getting out of formation here yep yep you're gonna suffer if you continue Okay, here we go now with the engagement. I'm gonna have to try and demolish my way here as I have better formation. And I have more alligator than he does. And again, the Solaris is around here as well. Already a Solaris. That's why he has less alligator around here. And he also has alligators around here. Very good, if you would ask me. Now, I got like a wasp here and the dragonfly to prevent that uh, Solaris from dealing more damage the engagement around here ended up in my favor some of the Vikings were in range of my uh, naval platform okay so this is not really looking good here for me all of a sudden as that Solaris really did make a change okay now and so 
Again, better formation as some of my alligators are firing at the back of those Vikings for free shots. However, with the help of the Solaris, again, this made my advantage formation advantage into a disadvantage because of that Solaris. But then again, he will lose a lot of Vikings for it. Okay, so my aim here is to lower the HP or destroy that Solaris at all given cost. And so he is actually forced to somewhat produce or retreat and build up the naval platform, slowing down his production as he needs to spend resources for it. Meanwhile, on my end, I'm keeping my uh, stuff here, and I will not overextend since my Leviathan, I just saved up resources to produce it. And then, of course, I was not able to mass produce the alligators, hence, it is a bad idea for me to maintain that attack, since I will not have enough. Okay, and here we go again, with that annoying Solaris chipping in at any point in time, and there was that annoying Seraphima. Okay, I'm going to have to retreat. And again. Yep, that annoying uh, Seraphim in Delta is here. However, my Leviathan is already here. Let's see what I can do. Obviously, he's going to have to run away. Yeah. As he can't really stand up against that uh, Leviathan of mine, along with the true dragonflies around there. However, if there was like five Deltas in a Seraphim, I will still retreat my Leviathan since... Uh, that Leviathan can still be destroyed by a Seraphim in five deltas. The only reason why he retreated is that the Seraphim passive is not on cooldown or cooldown just yet. Now, given that uh, information, I'm going to have to somewhat, you know, position myself into a good concave, making him produce more units on the ocean, enforcing him or pressuring him encapsulating him preventing him from getting any further better formation yeah there you go now the only problem that i have here is the solaris now i'm trying to obtain this super container around here which i will try my best to do so again formation formation okay a little bit of scout beholder right there okay that is a very dangerous hero don't ever underestimate it since it has a better radius than that of the wasp okay again as long as my alligator can fire back at that solaris it's gonna be completely fine with me i'm going hq level 5 since i need more command points as i have some of my command points for those porcupines at this point he will have more vikings than me because of the amount of command points i can have due to the presence of those por porcupines so I need those Alligatora instead. Okay, got the uh, super container. And uh, some of his Vikings were out of position. And then there was that thing going on in there. Oh man, just look at the damage of that Seraphim to my um, Leviathan who's been affected by the... Uh, yeah, by that annoying Beholder scan. And there was even three Poseidons behind it. And so, managed to destroy that Beholder, switch to an attack boost. However, it's not really looking good for me since he has platforms right behind those Vikings. However, on this side of the map, however, it's not necessarily the case since, yeah, there are like Poseidons around here. And I'm just going to have to lounge in here on the side, just outside the range of those platforms, as you guys can see. And destroy the Deltas. Destroy whatever thing shenanigans that I can, such as that Seraphim that is so low on health, and of course some Poseidons. Picking it up would be very, very good for me. However, given how tough they are, you know, I'm going to have to retreat. So, positioning my, uh, Poseidon, my alligators around here, along with my Wasp and Leviathan, can really, really help out with the defensive formation or offensive formation I would say so again I'm gonna have to try and attack here since the anti-air of those Poseidons can't really reach those Vikings and there's that Solaris again I'm gonna have to push my Leviathan backwards now since those Poseidons are coming closer 
However, at this point, I do outnumber his Vikings. And that Solaris... Wow, just look at the damage, dude. Ooh, nasty. Okay, well, I still managed to destroy those two Poseidons. However, at the expense of my alligators because of that Solaris that has no anti-air. Yeah, no anti-air. So I don't really have anything good against it except for Hawks, which I don't have. Dragonflies, which is not a viable option due to the presence of the Poseidon and the Seraphim uh, Beholder. So it's literally a bad idea for me to do that. However, um, his L Seraphim is actually bruised up. So I got this positioning right here in the middle sides of the map in a diagonal position, preventing him again from getting into a good formation. Again, those Vikings are not facing my alligators, so take this time to annihilate them. Okay, and non-stop unit production here in my end as well. Alligatora. Okay, destroying one or two uh, Vikings, and I'm gonna have to run away, as you guys can see right there. Yeah, just a hit and run tactic there real quick. And then naval scout boost to get them into formation faster as well as gain more view as to where they are okay now at this point i'm going to have to move my wasp and the leviathan together on this side and i actually scouted his base he's going hq level 5 and not really that much anti-air around here except for the seraphim and one anti-air tower and the beholder and again, that Solaris is trying to be ultra annoying, so I'm just gonna have to micro my stuff away out of that Solaris way. Okay, here we go. I'm going, since the Solaris is there, I'm going to position majority of my alligators around here away from that Solaris. And keep in mind that I also have a, an AV factory around here to zone that Solaris out because it always doesn't come with an anti ear, it's just a solo kind of thing. Meanwhile, my Wasp and Leviathan is moving its way to his base. Okay now, and again. Oh, two of my alligators out of position. Vikings getting into a better formation. He's unsuspecting of this attack right here, for he doesn't have a scout. Okay, getting into a better formation now, although he has more platform around here. And so, here we go again, Naval Scouting Boost to get those alligators whip up the better formation. And here we go. Coming Attack Boost has been used, attacking those buildings, immediately disposing of them. And then, of course, there's this thing going on right there. And then I still have my alligators in this position. However, that Beholder will not do anything on its own. It still needs support, similar to the Wasp. Okay. Now that annoying, um, yeah, that annoying Solaris and Seraphim can be seen right there approaching my base immediately. Dragonfly is being produced. And of course, my alligators are still here preventing any reinforcement. Getting rid of that X facility, softening up that anti-air tower, and destroying that construction yard. There you go, preventing him from building more anti-air. This guy, Solaris, managed to destroy one of my shipyards and a supply center, or one of my shipyards rather, and platforms as well. But that's going to be it since I will have dragonflies to chase after it. However, that's not necessarily the case on his end as I managed to sneak this too right around here. And so that Solaris is slower because he is forced to use either an air raid boost or a common defense boost. So no speed bonus for that Solaris. Giving my alligators a chance to ransack the guy with a common attack boost, which gives additional range and speed to my alligators. So I'm just going to have to move my uh, Leviathan outside the range of those towers. Uh, yeah, that tower right there. And I assume that he destroyed that to make it so that he can build a power plant and power up those things those anti-air now there's like a ton of anti-air around here i simply moved away outside the range of those towers yeah and that's just how it goes 
Yeah, and once that HQ is destroyed, it's basically GG since that's an HQ level 5. There goes another tower is here. However, it's already too late. The damage has been dealt. And at this point in time, I mean, doesn't really matter if I'm in range or not. The HQ has been taken out. And no X facility, meaning no heroes for you, my friend. And I can simply add more shipyards here and outproduce him due to the fact that I have more command points at my disposal due to the presses to my HQ level 5. And there you go. And he's trying to rebuild that HQ. Okay, with, he has like a ton of anti-air behind that HQ in those buildings. But I'm not gonna bother. I'm only gonna go after the HQ. Yeah, it's still outside the range. Yeah, and then I even used the nuke on it. The bluey. And there you go. He can't do nothing now. As he used up the, uh, the uh, emergency HQ boost. You know, so basically he will have to spend the resources to rebuild that HQ. And as long as my Leviathan is here, he is... This is basically what we call checkmate. I mean, he can attack me on the ocean, but doesn't really matter. I got like four uh, shipyards here and I got like a ton of alligators to Rambo with those Vikings that he may have. And just like that, with a simple move like that, GG. Now again guys, if you like this video, um, smash the like button, give this video a like, and of course, subscribe if you happen to be new to my channel. For more contents like this, don't forget to ring the bell icon so you'll be notified of any content similar to this one. Also, I do have guide videos that I uploaded in the past that you can actually binge on if you're new to the game, which can really help you amp up your gameplay, and of course, you know, become a better player in general, as you'll have no more when to build, where to build, how to build faster, and what's the best tactics to use against such things. So yeah, at this point, I just outnumbered him, and there's basically nothing he can do. GG. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, smash the like button, and leave a comment down below as to what are your thoughts into this video. Likewise, thank you so much for watching, have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye! Yay! Libayatan imbuyo! Libayatan solo the base! Libayatan in the wasp solo base! Yay! Libayatan! Useless! Very useless hero! <laughs> GG! Bye now! Yay!